Welcome back to another video. Today is a good day for me. I'm down at my girlfriend's parents. I've been down here all weekend with the family. Um, we've had a great weekend, but everyone's gone back to work now because it's a Monday. However, I haven't because I've got some time off. So I'm gonna make the most of the day and go and ride bikes. So I had a good nine hours sleep last night. I woke up when I felt like it. I had breakfast. I'm just about to have coffee and I'm currently watching some flickering YouTube videos. Some mountain biking YouTube videos to get the day started. I've done my stretching exercises and um, I can't wait to get out on the bike. As you can see, just about up there, the sun is shining, which is a welcome sight because the last few weeks, it's just been miserable weather, raining, storms, absolute rubbish. Um, this video, I'm actually behind on editing, so this video will be going out hopefully soon, but I'm currently working on the Wales trip, which is gonna be two part, um, purely because I recorded so, many, so much footage, even though we only rode, rode the bikes for a day and a half there. Um, yeah, and also another Chicksands video with Andy, which uh, we found a few new lines. So you probably have already seen those if you follow my channel. If not, go back and watch them. Um, yeah, what else can we say really? Um, yeah, I said I'd done lots of stretches this morning. Um, I've got a problem with my back, my lower back, pretty much ever since getting the Santa Cruz. I don't know if it's the fact that the bike is slightly too big for me, although it feels perfect to ride, um, or it might just be that I need to get used to it. I don't know at the moment. So yeah, um, I've got two new products on the bike. Well, three actually. I've got firstly the Hope Brakes. I managed to fit those. Um, and secondly, I've got Rentful uh, Fat Bars Carbon and a Rentful Apex stem. Uh, the stem is slightly shorter. It's a 40 mil stem compared to the 50 mil that's on there. So um, hopefully that will bring the reach in slightly. Well, it will bring the reach in. Uh, and maybe that will help uh, with the lower back issues. Again, the lower back issue could be unrelated to the bike. It might be just due to the fact that recently I've been going a lot harder on the bike, um, trying to chuck it around and jump and manual wheelie and everything basically. I've just stepped up uh, my level of riding in terms of the effort I'm putting in at least. So um, maybe I just need to work on my core strength and back exercises um, and hopefully the rest of it will just follow. So yeah, I'm gonna finish off watching the YouTube video that I'm watching, which is actually a street pigeon one. I'm really liking some of his content at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna have a coffee and then we're gonna hit the trails. Another thing that I've got recently is this GoPro charger. I can charge two batteries at once and also it tells you when they're charged. Unlike when you plug the charger into the side of the GoPro, that just seems to take forever and it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So yeah, got this as a birthday present. I'm really happy with it. Great purchase. Okay, so um, we are about to start on Blue Trail 2. This is a section of trail I've not actually done before. So although I've been here a few times, it's not something, I don't know, not something I've ever noticed really. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give that a go and it will lead onto um, the flow trail that leads down to the car park um, that I've done before. So yeah, a bit of a tough climb up, nearly two kilometers, which seemed a bit Although it's, it's not particularly steep, it just seems to go on for a while. It certainly is a great warm up anyway. Um, yeah, so don't know, don't really know what to expect. Hopefully it will run fairly fast, but we'll see. Definitely should have cleaned the goggles. Not a good start. The grips are moving. Just 
Do you know what? I thought the grips felt a bit loose. I tightened them up once earlier. And now I'm going to have to tighten them up again. Very annoying. So, grip tightened. I'm going to have to use a torque wrench to torque them up properly later. Make sure that they're at the right setting. Um, because obviously with carbon bars, you don't want to over torque anything. Because if you do, you risk potentially cracking the bars. And obviously you do not want a carbon bar to snap. Or any bar for, to snap, for that matter. Oh, mate. Okay, so that bit of trail there wasn't particularly exciting. Um, started to go uphill towards the end. The main feature being that tiny little drop at the start. Um, I also forgot to unlock my shock, which is really probably not very clever. So where are we now? Let's check. Snake bites. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do snake bites. What's it got? Berms, tabletops, switch back. Okay, so to get to there, you need to get onto the access road and go the other way. Okay, so this is snake bites. Hopefully you don't get a snake bite. Puncture our wheels, tires. Okay, let's see what it's got to say. Sloppy. So these are the tabletops. And they don't look great. Maybe on a sunny day.
yeah so that trail is not great to be quite honest right now i wouldn't say it's got much flow at all obviously a better rider would probably get more out of it than me but yeah maybe in the summer it'll be all right if it when it's dry and it'll roll a bit faster so where does that leave us um climb back up there again so that was a bit of a waste of time i think we'll climb back up and then we'll do the blue trail again um and then the proper blue trail which is more flowy which i can't actually remember the name of Wow, those berms need some repair. <laughs> 